So let's just um, settle into our meditation posture. And Mary, I just want to check the sound is okay. Everyone sounds okay. All right, good. Thank you. I've had some technical issues yesterday. Welcome, Steve. Okay. So just uh, bring your mind, first of all, to where same place your body is. And just allow your mind to settle in this very short amount of time we're doing this practice this morning. So check your feet. If you're sitting at a desk and your feet are on the ground, try not to crush your ankles or have your feet in any kind of weird position. It's best just to have them flat on the ground. And Sylvia and Claire, welcome Claire. And have your knee, have your knees in a sort of a parallel position if your legs are down, not sort of splayed out. Um, other than that, if you're sitting in the regular cross-legged um, meditation position, just make sure you're comfortable. So you can have a couple of cushions underneath either knee. And if you, particularly if your knees are and hips are tight, you can raise your sits bones, put yourself on a zafu, maybe two to four inches. And make sure whatever it is you're sitting on is nice and firm. The hands are in the meditation mudra, right hand in the left with the thumbs touching. And just imagine your spine is a string of pearls of light stretching from the base of the spine, bottom of the, the coccyx, all the way up through the crown. And you can imagine the crown of your head is very gently heading towards the ceiling. You can probably also imagine someone is lengthening your spine just very gently pulling on that string. And all the tiny, tiny little muscles in your back, just releasing and stretching and lengthening. And your shoulders are over the hips and very gently imagine, and you, if you can do this carefully, Imagine someone has you by the tips of your ears and very gently lengthening your neck and then gliding your head backwards in line with your shoulders. The head is slightly tipped forward, the eyes are down looking along the length of the nose and the tip of the tongue on the roof of the mouth. Let's just bring our awareness to the crown of the head and relax the scalp, the forehead, the eyes, and bring your attention to the back of the eye socket. And relax that whole area in there. And this is helpful, particularly if you wear corrective lenses. Relax the nose, the cheeks, and the area around the mouth, and your jaw. And then bring your attention to the back of your head and relax that area there, the scalp, and the occipital bone area. And just notice as you do that which, which parts of your face are relaxed. So now imagine you have a nice warm torch, light shining into your ear. And it just warms the inner ear, relaxes the jaw, back of the tongue. Relax your temples. And bring your mind to the back of the neck and release any tension there, your shoulders, shoulder blades. In between the shoulder blades are the thoracic and relax your throat and your chest and your belly and your limbs, hands, fingers and feet and toes. 
and just bring your mind to the breath and notice the sensation of the air as you're breathing in. It's quite cool. And as you exhale, the air is a little bit warmer. If there are any some noises, noises or sounds in your environment, just allow those sounds to be there. And notice for a moment what it is that attracts your mind when you hear a sound. How does your mind get drawn to that particular sound? What sounds are you not so fond of? And then just let that go and allow any sounds that might be in your environment to sort of fade into the background and refocus your mind on the breath. You'll notice your thoughts are arising, abiding and falling. You may be already thinking about breakfast, work. Just allow your mind to come back to the breath. Let those thoughts dissolve. Try not to engage with them. And let's just bring to mind again, as we've been doing lately, all the people of your life, your loved ones, friends, family, people who support you or kind to you. And then there's your well, this group of people that we tend to reject in our mind, push them away. Maybe they've harmed you. And then there's the strangers, the people we're indifferent to. And it's good to remember that any time in your life, anyone in these three different groups of people could change place. Your enemy perhaps could become your dearest friend. All these three groups of people, however we feel about them, deserve our equal concern. And why? Because everybody equally wants to be happy and wants to avoid suffering. And everybody has this unbelievable potential for this enlightened mind. So bring your mind back to the breath. We'll do this meditation on Medicine Buddha this morning for all the people of our life. And by extension, all sentient beings. So let's just start with our nine round breathing. So just begin breathing in through the right nostril, blissful, radiant, white light. And you can equalize the breath if you wish. It's a nice, slow, steady breath. Pausing at the top of the breath. And then as you breathe out through the left nostril, imagine we're just breathing out all of your attachment energy and grasping and neediness feeling unworthy, not feeling enough, wanting. And this, you let, let this go as think of like, like a smoke, do that three times. Breathe in through the left, blissful, radiant, white light, and pause at the top of the breath and breathe out all your anger energy, and depression, jealousy, bitterness, wishing to harm. grudges. Just let it all out. It disappears into space. Stick back like a smoke. And do that three times. And then through both nostrils, breathing in, blissful, radiant, white light. Pausing at the top of the breath. 
and breathe out all your ignorance. This is not knowing the way things truly exist. Also not understanding karma, cause and effect. And do that three times. So we'll do three sets of three in our own time.
And when you finish, just bring the mind back to the breath and just feel. So now imagine Medicine Buddha above the crown of your head. He's sitting on a moon disk, which rests in the center of an open lotus. His legs are crossed in the full Vajra position, which is each foot on the opposite thigh. And he's facing the same way as you. And you can imagine that if you have a teacher or a spiritual guide, someone who's helping you along the path, this is the mind of that person manifesting in this medicine Buddha form for your benefit. If you don't have a teacher right now, you could imagine someone like His Holiness the Dalai Lama, or maybe there's someone that you know, you've seen on YouTube. Could be someone like Lama Zopa Rinpoche. Imagine this is the mind of that person manifesting in this way for your benefit. He's made of light. Bright light. In a sapphire blue color. And every aspect of this visualization is light and also radiates light. His right hand rests on his right knee in the gesture of granting sublime realizations, holding the stem of an aurora plant between his thumb and first finger. So that's his back of his hand is resting on his knee. His left hand in his lap is in the meditation mudra and is holding a, a bowl made of sapphire, so it's sapphire light, filled with the nectar. And this is the nectar for healing your body and your mind. He's wearing the three saffron robes of a monk and has all the signs and marks of a fully enlightened being. He has a five pointed crown on his head. This is embedded with jewels. He's wearing jewelry around his neck. He's wearing a belt of jewels around his wrists and arms and ankles. Everything is just brilliant light. His face is peaceful and smiling and looking at you without any kind of judgment at all. Whatever it is you've shown up with this morning, he accepts just exactly as you are, meeting you where you're at. He's looking at you and all the sentient beings, all the beings of your life. This, this incredible loving kindness. So try and get a sense of this medicine Buddha above the crown of your head. He is the embodiment of all the enlightened beings and their incredible qualities. And try and feel peace and compassion. Just there above the crown of your head, emanating from this Buddha. I go for refuge in time enlightened to the Buddha, the Dharma and the Supreme Assembly. By my practice of giving and other perfections, may I become a Buddha to benefit all sentient beings. I go for refuge until I am enlightened to the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Supreme Assembly. By my practice of giving and other perfections, may I become a Buddha to benefit all sentient beings. I go for refuge until I am enlightened to the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Supreme Assembly. By my practice of giving and other perfections, may I become a Buddha to benefit all sentient beings. 
may all sentient beings have happiness and the causes of happiness. May all sentient beings be free from suffering and the causes of suffering. May all sentient beings be inseparable from the happiness that is free from suffering. And may all sentient beings abide in equanimity, free from attachment and anger that hold some close and others distant. So we'll just recite the prayer to the Medicine Buddha once. To the Bhagawan Tathagata Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha, Medicine Guru, King of Sapphire Light, I prostrate, go for refuge and make offerings. May your vow to benefit sentient beings now ripen for myself and others. So just imagine now this rays of white light pouring from uh, Medicine Buddha's heart. And it pours down into you through the crown of your head. And this light is filling your body and purifying all disease, any afflictions you might have in your mind. The cause of all of these problems, your delusions, karma, mental obscuration, and imagine all these negativities leave your body in the form of thick black liquid, like engine oil, and your body becomes clean and clear as crystal. You can imagine that at the same time, all the sentient beings around you are being purified in the same way as we recite the mantra. Medicine Buddha. Oh, Tayatam Bekunze Bekunze Maha Bekunze Bekunze Traja Samangate So Tayatam Bekunze Mahabekunze, Bekunze, Raja Samangate Soha, Tayata Hom, Bekunze, Bekunze, Mahabekunze, Bekunze, Raja Samangate Soha. Tayata Hom Bekunze Bekunze Maha Bekunze Bekunze Raja Samangate So Tayata Hom Bekunze Bekunze Maha Bekunze Bekunze Raja Samangate So Tayata Hom Bekunze Bekunze Maha Bekunze Bekunze Raja Samangate So Tayata Hom Bekunze Bekunze Maha Bekunze Bekunze Raja Samangate So Just feel completely purified. All your obscurations and negativities is gone. You feel blissful and light. And now imagine the golden light flows from Medicine Buddha's heart, fills your body again, except this time bringing you all the realizations of the path to enlightenment and all the compassionate qualities of all the Buddhas and Bodhisattvas, their kindness, brilliance, wisdom, filling you completely. And you can imagine the same thing happening to all the other sentient beings around you. 
and feel that you and all other beings have actually received all these excellent qualities and that you receive the blessings and inspiration of Medicine Buddha as you recite the mantra. Raja Samangate Soha Taya Tawam Bekanze Bekanze Maha Bekanze Bekanze Raja Samangate Soha Taya Tawam Bekanze Bekanze Maha Bekanze Bekanze Raja Samangate So Taya Tawam Bekanze Bekanze Maha Bekanze Bekanze Raja Samangate So Taya Tawam Bekanze Bekanze Maha Bekanze Bekanze Raja Samangate Soha Taya Tawam Bekanze Bekanze Maha Bekanze Bekanze Raja Samangate Soha Taya Tawam Bekanze Bekanze Maha Bekanze Bekanze Raja Samangate Soha I'm really trying to that you have actually ex experienced and felt and received all the blessings, inspiration, wisdom, intelligence, compassion and kindness of all the Buddhas. And now imagine the medicine Buddha melts into light and dissolves into you through the crown of your head and comes to your heart. And your mind, the mind of your teacher, you can have more than one teacher there if you wish, becomes one with the enlightened mind of all the Buddhas. And let your mind rest here for a moment in a space that's completely clear and peaceful and free from its usual busy thoughts, perceptions, Opinions. Let that all go. Expand your mind. Really try and feel this is your true nature. This is who you really are and who you've always been. So let's just dedicate all the positive energy we've created this morning to all the beings of our life, to all the sentient beings. Everybody, thank you so very much for your attention. It was beautiful seeing you all meditating there. Thank you very, very much. Lots of love. Have a wonderful day. Take care. And I look forward to seeing some of you this evening for Rajasattva. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, Venerable.